this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro, and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now, before we get started with today's free Forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free. And all you have to do is register and then come back to this video and we'll be sending you a lot more goodies to help you with your Forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. Hey everyone, it's Josh Taylor and Happy New Year. It is January 5th, 2014. And we're coming out with you with the Forex Market Preview. This is a Sunday. And the uh, the Asian session will be opening up in about four hours. And so we're going to start going through some of the pairs that I've been working on. I'm going to take this a little slow today. Because I've been asked by a lot of our customers to dig down and start doing some of these Forex Market Previews again. We have not done these for a while. Because honestly, I've just been so busy focusing on where the market's going. Um, to sit down and record these videos takes quite a while, um, but I'm going to go through and start analyzing some of these currency pairs, so let's dig in. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the Euro USD, and I'm doing this live, guys. Um, obviously, you're watching recording, but I'm not pre-looking at these uh, these charts in advance. I'm kind of going to go through them, doing a top-down analysis at a very small level, just to show you some, some key levels and how I look at key, looking at key levels and trends. Uh, so we're going to start. I'm going to start here looking at this monthly chart on the Euro USD. So if you're looking at this monthly chart, uh, there's no way to zoom back out of this a little bit longer. Um, you can see that <laughs> over the long term, that this long term high end trend has kept itself pretty good. Uh, in fact, it, it rejected, came back up, it shot up, and now it's kind of coming back down again. If we can see this pair break below 3,500, I could see that this thing could continue to work its way back down again um, in 2014. <laughs> but this is kind of we're kind of at a limbo s stage here. So we, I usually will look at a monthly chart. I don't look at the monthly charts all the time, but when the monthly is showing me something strong, um, taking trades, um, especially entry levels, looking at where the the monthly is compared to the, to the weekly and daily, does make a major difference. In this case. I'm holding on to this area over here to watch very carefully to find out if price is going to break below this. In other words, did it shoot up and all of a sudden reject because price was not able to hold above that um, long-term resistance level. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Let's go look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart, <laughs> you can see we have key levels. Let's see if we can draw in some more key levels here. We do have... <laughs> key resistance up in this area here. We got a long way before we hit that. Um, <laughs> we had some right in here, which is around the 3600 range. You can see where price is kind of hovered and balanced. Now it's broke below that again. So on the weekly, <laughs> we're showing that uh, it's still in an uptrend, but we could see a significant pullback here. Um, I'm not really seeing a lot here on this. So let's look at the daily. On the daily chart, however, we've seen a, a major rejection. Right up here, we had this key level here of 38, um, you know, 38.30 range, 38.37. Uh, it broke as high as almost 3,900, rejected very, very swiftly, and then as it continued to co break back down. What I would be looking for is a buy down here. We 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 wait for as this thing is trending up. Uh, we have higher highs and higher lows. You have a low, a high, a lower, a higher low than this one, a higher higher. And it keeps going. See how it tear steps? We had this pull back and it's continued the same pattern. So you can see it's not very difficult. A five year old can see that this pair is trending up. However, how long that trend will last, we don't know, but it could still last for a long time. But we will, do want to look at that a pair does not just shoot straight up and down forever. It goes goes in cycles. So as we are working our way up, and now we're seeing over the last few days the euro has dumped off significantly, um, we would be looking for a buy at the next uh, a potential, at least a bounce at the next significant um, key level, which would be right here around 34.96. And I do believe we already have a buy <laughs> level sitting there. And so, um, I think, yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure I need to log in here, and um, I think my 
pro my pro members are already have a pending trade sitting at 3496. Um, but that's where I would be looking for. I would be looking if price can pull back down here another 90 pips. Uh, Friday the market closed at 3586. We need another 90 pip pull down slightly below 3500, which is a key level, and for price to bounce. Uh, if it continues breaking through, then obviously we're going to have this thing run for a wild ride for a little while. But I think we could see a, a significant hit and bounce right in that level. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and free Forex trade alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free. All kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot.